In this video, you are going to learn data analysis from the basics all the way to advanced techniques. Alright, let's jump into the video. First, we are going to be looking at transforming the data. Secondly, we are going to be looking at creating descriptive statics to better understand the data. Thirdly, we are going to be looking at data analysis. And finally, we will get into creating a report to visualize our findings. This is the Excel file that we will be working with. You can see the type of product here and the first step is simply to clean this up. But for that, we are going to go to Control T to change this data into a table. Then we will head on OK. For the cleanup part, you can see that under the customer column, we seem to have some very odd spacing here. So let's go ahead and clean that up. Here we are going to write equals and write trim. This is to remove these odd spaces and now select this column and press enter. This will now remove the spaces and make a new column. We have to paste this as a value. For that, select this column, Control Shift down and copy this. Press Control C. The shortcut to convert this as a value is Alt H V V. Now that means that we can go ahead and remove this column by pressing Control minus. Then under cost, you might notice that we have caught some decimal which don't make too much sense. So for this, we are basically going to have to round up to a whole number. For that, we are going to use the roundup formula. So, right equals roundup, left parenthesis and select the first number. The number is this one. And the number of digit for us is going to be 0 because we want the full number. Close those brackets and hit enter. Write cost here and this will be our cost now. Okay, so now we basically want to press control, shift down, control C and then paste it as a value. There you go. Then you will notice that under city here, we have the city names, but we don't have the countries. That would be a nice thing to add. For this, we can actually head over to the data tab and go under data types. You will find geography here. Once you start to see that icon, it means that it's loaded up. What you want to do here is hit over to this icon to the side under add column. And we basically want to add a country or a region associated with that city. And here select country and region and now drag this down. And uh, you can see that we have the corresponding country for each city. That's amazing. One final thing we haven't done is test if there's any duplicates. So for this, we can simply go under data again. And we are just going to remove duplicates by going to this icon over here. So we will click on that and it's going to be for that whole table. And we will simply hit on OK. And now you can see here that we get a notification saying that no duplicated values found. But if Excel found duplicates, they would have been removed. Great. Now that we have done step one and now moving on to the step two, it's all about the descriptive statics. So really seeing things like what's the average price, what about the minimum, the maximum and so on. For this, let's hop over to the side and you could try to find for the price and for the quantity. Say the average going one by one. So type the average formula, then going the same thing with the minimum, the maximum and so on. But there's a much faster way. And that's actually using a tool called data analysis. I have activated that tool here. If you haven't activated that, don't worry. You can go ahead and activate it. So all you have to do is head over to file, go over to the bottom where it says options. From here, we are gonna go into add-ins and we want to click on the analysis tool pack here and hit on go. From here, we want to select analysis tool pack, like I said, and we will hit okay. Now you will get this data analysis option here. So that's the one that we want to select. From here, we want the descriptive statics and we will hit on OK there and the input range is going to be all of our cost. So we will go control shift down there and then we want it to be a summary statics. So where do we want this? Let's say we want an output range, which is going to be over here. So right next to the table, let's say we put it here to the side and we are just going to hit on OK. And now you can see that for the price, which is what we have selected, we have gotten everything from the mean, the median, mode, minimum, maximum, sum, and a bunch of other useful information. Let me repeat the same process for the quantity. Awesome. Now we have caught the breakdown by price and by quantity as well. But one thing that this doesn't quite account for is the fact that there could be outliers in our price. So for that, we can go ahead down over here. We are going to basically create a new chart, which is going to be a box and whisker. So let's first select this cost column and press control shift down and down over here. We are going to find this icon. Click on that and we want a box and whisker. 
basically this one over here and don't worry if you can't interrupt it will look at it just in a second so once we have it in here this is basically telling us a few different things so first these top and bottom lines are telling us the maximums so the max and the minimum if you will then in here this box represent the first and the third and then you can see that we have got that x which is the average then we have got a line which is going to be the median now if you want to dig a bit further into this it would be nice to see the x-axis maybe we can put something like the customer's name to see where exactly this is coming from we will go to right click for that go under select data edit the horizontal category access label here what we are going to do is put the customer so we are going to select all of these by pressing ctrl shift down and hit on ok hit on ok again now if we go all the way back up and you can see that breakdown looks like by customers okay now moving on to the next step which is data analysis so over here you can see that we have got three different questions that we want to solve which is what is our best selling product what is our total revenue and what's our revenue breakdown by payment method so if we go back to the table here you notice that we don't actually have a column for revenue so that's the one uh, that we are going to have to calculate simply by multiplying the price and the quantity so we will do that over here let me add an extra column there and let's call this something like revenue and the formula for it is going to be equals the quantity multiplied by the price and we will just hit enter there that should be calculated for us and then we will go up over here again and for all of this data analysis we can actually do most of it with a pivot table so we will head over to insert pivot table the table or range we are interested in is all of this range so once we select one of the cell we can just go to control a that's going to select all of them and we want this in a location in an existing worksheet which we already selected so we will hit ok great from here we can start doing all the breakdown so what's our best selling product let's do this by quantity we are going to select the product as the raws just hover that over and then we are going to check the quantity over here as the values great now we have all of that breakdown if, if we want to sort it from highest to lowest we can go to right click and go to sort and we will sort largest to smallest then secondly we have got what is our total revenue for this one we are simply going to have to select the revenue first we will remove this let's take this out and we will take this out as well and we just have to select the revenue and uh, put it in under values that should give us the sum of total revenue and finally our revenue breakdown by payment method so for that we are gonna get all of the payment methods and uh, put those under the rows to see the breakdown better it probably make more sense as a percentage so what we can actually do is go to right click here and uh, from here go to show value as and we are going to show them as a percentage of the grand total now you can see that full breakdown okay so that was all about the basic of data analysis now let's move on to the second part so let's suppose i have received this large data set it's unformatted and messy and my manager asking me some questions about it to answer his questions we will go ahead over three essential data analysis skills the first one is data cleaning the second one is data analysis and the third one is data visualization so let's get into it here's the excel file i'll be working with today and you can download it for free in the video description we need to make a few changes to the data set like suppose we want to merge the first and the last name into one column we want to go ahead and change the formatting of the salesperson here so it's a bit more consistent and a bunch of other things now the fastest way to do that is using power query for that we are gonna go ahead over to the data tab and under the data tab you will see this get and transform data area just click on from table range it should select the whole data set for us and we will just hit ok there from there it's going to load up the power query editor and this is really where we are gonna make all of the data cleaning changes you can make these changes in excel as well but it's a lot faster than doing it using excel the first step when cleaning data is to remove any duplicates so under the order id if there's more than one order id with the same number then it's probably a duplicate so we can just right click on it and hit remove duplicates whenever we make a change 
it's going to be recorded under applied steps so you can always go back or you can even remove it if you want to then for the dates they are currently formatted as numbers so let's go ahead and click on it and change that to a regular date and you will see that uh, changes automatically to the normal date then we said we wanted to merge the first name and the last name so select both columns by hitting the control key we have both selected here and then we just need to go to the right click and we will go to merge columns from here we want a separator which is just gonna be the space sign for us and we want to go ahead and call this something like names and hit ok and you will see how we have been able to merge the first name and the last name in just a few clicks if we keep scrolling down through the data another thing that stands out here is that the units have decimals we can't even get a whole burger in cents right so let's go ahead and switch this up by going over to transform and from here you will find the rounding on their number column and do we want to go ahead and change that to just rounding it up and you can see there that we have the whole number one final thing that we want to change is the salesperson column where they are not well formatted so we can go ahead up to format under the transform ribbon and first we want to go ahead and capitalize just each letter and we also want to trim these spaces so we can go back under format and just click on trim now that's looking a lot better to go back to excel from here we just need to go over to the home tab and then hit close and load and this is going to apply all the changes that we have made so you can see here that it's created a new tab for us and this time it has everything cleaned up we have the queries and connections in case we ever want to go back to it we can just right click and hit edit but we don't want it right now so we will just close out of that later in the video we will look at analysis creating some awesome visuals but before that let's get into the analysis section where my manager asking me some questions about the data and he said can you summarize the revenue column so here he probably trying to understand what the average revenue is or the minimum or the maximum and so on so here is the whole revenue column we can do this with individual formula like the sum the average and so on but there's a better way to do that and that's by going to the data ribbon and then you will find this data analysis option if you don't find that just go over it to the right click and click on customize the ribbon then head under add-ins and you are going to want to select the analysis tool pack hit on go and select it from here i already have it for now so i'm just gonna click inside of it once we get this pop-up we want to head to an area called descriptive statistics which is this one here and hit on ok this is going to summarize all of our revenue data so for the input range we want to select all of our revenue numbers so press ctrl shift down and then for the output let's say we just want it on the top to the right here and then i'm just going to put summary statistics that's going to give us all the information and hit on ok and you can see that it's created this whole set of statistics you got the minimum the maximum the median the mode and a bunch of other things great now if my manager want to see the breakdown by salesperson we can do this by creating a pivot table so just go ahead and select inside of data go over to insert and just click on pivot table hit on ok there and it's going to create a pivot table on a new sheet then under pivot table fields we have to add the revenue and put it under values and uh, we are going to add the salesperson that's going to be under the rows and now we have that full breakdown but as you can see it's not really in order here so we can right click on it go to sort and sort largest to smallest cool now the next thing my manager wants to see is our next marketing campaign we are trying to see if we should target more of a male or female audience we can have a breakdown of that for this we can still use pivot tables so let's go ahead and select this first one Control c to copy and just paste it down below with Control v and now we are gonna make all the changes so this time instead of the salesperson on the rows we are gonna remove it and let's add the gender in here so we have the sum of revenue maybe we also want to see the units so let's go ahead and drag that in as well we can also get the proportion so the percentage here simply by right clicking on it and then show value as 
a percentage of the grand total and here we got the percentage awesome we can pretty much get any information on our data using pivot tables but there's another ai tool that excel introduced so let's take a look at it we will head over to the table here under table one and this time instead of going to pivot tables we are gonna go under the home ribbon all the way to the right where it says analyze data so let's click on that it's basically going to create a QA box and within this we can ask anything so before we did a pivot table to find the revenue by salesperson you can also ask it here so let's write revenue by salesperson hit enter there and you can see that we get the exact same breakdown so that's an awesome AI tool that you might find handy okay back to the video now that we have cleaned up and analyzed the data let's look at how to visualize it and one of the easier ways to do that is using conditional formatting so you can see over here that we have the breakdown that we did earlier with the revenue by salesperson and suppose we want to visualize these numbers over here a bit better and we can go ahead and select them and then just go over to the conditional formatting under the home ribbon and then we will select the data bars let's say we go for a red one over here and you can see how easily we can tell the proportions another great visual for data analysis is a scatter plot so over here we have the cleaned data set and suppose we want to see if there is a relationship between age and revenue maybe older people tend to spend more money maybe younger people so let's go ahead and select both age and revenue just by clicking on the edge here and hitting the control shift down arrow then we will go back up and for the revenue we want to keep hitting that control key so we also have this selected from here we will go over under insert tab and right in the center here under charts we are going to want to select the scatter so this one right over here to drag this back up just hit ctrl x and then scroll up to the top and let's say i put it over here to the side with ctrl v so basically this chart is telling us how people spend according to their age one final visual we look at is a box plot which is great for finding outliers in the data so over here let's suppose that we just take the revenue then we need to go to the insert tab again and this time under the very center here we are gonna click on that and go to the box and whisker i realize this is a funny looking chart so let's go over and explain what it's saying so the line right here which is a quite small is the median the x is going to be the average for us and then these top and bottom parts are the extremes and these two here are the quartiles and if we had any outliers they would be showing us dots over here or down over here just to show you quickly let's say i put another zero in here i am just going to put a huge number you you can see that it start to show as an outlier there let me go back so you can see this again all right so that was it for today's video if you found this video to be helpful please hit like and subscribe to our channel for more such videos